we have uh, Battlefield as our starting stage as well. So here we go, three, two, one, boom, bam, bop. We're gonna be seeing uh, Bayo really, ha really elevate her style um, against Rob, just because Rob is so big, easy to counter. And I'm sorry, counter, but combo with, and he kind of just stays in that in her <laughs> in uh, in Bayo's combos very easily. So is, is it honestly? Oh, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. What are we at? Semis? Why are we like this? We just started. Dill, Dill already putting words in my mouth, ma and making sure that I'm saying complete, uh, complete lies. Cause she took that stock immediately after, converted it right into her own little stock, and now she's down the lead. Unfortunately, not killing with the worst time into uh, up smash. But hopefully, maybe uh, finally able to get this combo going and keep Dill off on the ledge. Unfortunately, where she is comfortable, though. Dill opting to go off the other side of the stage, and Fawn chasing her, but unfortunately, Dill uh, using her own up air against Fawn. Really good move of Fawn, just to kind of air dodge away from the situation, and teleport back to the stage easily. And now we're seeing a little bit of uh, neutral play, trying to get in where they're most comfortable and see the uh, the chances they're allowed to give themselves. Finally, still taking the cake with just a throw, but not able to go off of it as usual. You know, she's really, really good at going to the down throw into uh, up air or up tilt to kind of uh, elevate her combo status. So, let's see what we can do here on the ledge. Uh, Fawn is struggling to get through this kill. We're having Dill live until 185%. And I think one of the biggest things on Battlefield is that it's it's good for both characters, you know, with without a doubt. Wow, you're living that? All right. Battlefield? Hey. But the unfortunate thing is that it, it benefits both characters so widely. Finally, the backer taking it for fun. But the thing is that Bayo can extend off a combo so easily in the air, at least, with that extra platform on top, giving her extra, um, extra space towards the, the Blast Zone. However, Dill... Uh, of course, can also do the same thing, mostly with throws up air, up till, keeping her opponents in the air for a longer period of time. That's the biggest thing she's going to be uh, getting off of with Battlefield. It's like catching uh, Fawn up in the air and against that platform. We're going to also be using these platforms for gyro setups as C Dill, setting up gyro to kind of uh, kind of um, close in the options that Fawn has in recovery. I I'm hearing blasphemy over in production. You got it, Rob? This bias is insane! <laughs> I'm literally saying that, like, when I get down throat, I'm like, alright, Rob, you got it. It's fine. I, I, ain't, I ain't mashing. I ain't doing that to my controller. <laughs> no, you're right. Because Rob can. Like, John, uh, shut up. John, uh, shut up. <laughs> But like, you're right, because the, the the issue with Rob down throw is when you're mashing out of it, a lot of times Dill can kind of react to it with, with oh! I'm not sure if Fawn just decided to just air dodge into a blast zone, or if Dill was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you this laser. Let me see real fast. Oh yeah, I know. Dill definitely did um, get Fawn with the extra. Oh, you were already dead from Gyro. It was just a... It was just a it was just insurance to make sure you're dead. That make sure that first game goes to Dill. Like, hello? That was evil! Oh my god, that was so evil. Look at this, look at this. You have nothing. And I don't even think Fawn was able- I don't think Fawn's, um, air dodge up was actually close enough to magnet enhance to the stage. But now we're actually gonna be kind of picking over to small battlefield. Typically, I we might be seeing Fawn switch to Duck Hunt for this matchup. Just because the Bayo wasn't working out, getting two stocked, um, I believe. Yeah, it's getting two stocked by Bayo by uh, Rob. I think the Duck Hunt might do so a little bit better here. No, we're still going to Bayo, absolutely. Perhaps yes. Taking a quick water break. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. Y'all hilarious. All right. Rob Bayo, cat ears are activated, masks are on. And here we go. Starting over now this time on small battlefield. We're now eliminating that top platform that Rob and Bayo both uh, both do great on. However, it don't matter. Because this is also a pretty good stage for both characters anyway, especially if it's kinda of picked from Fawn in the first place. Um, Dill's bands were of course Town and City and Hollow Bastion. So we're going over to um, to Small Battlefield instead. And I'm already seeing kind of this, the the opposite... Not, I can't even say opposite yet, because it's too early to decide, but it's definitely a more even startup for both characters, or both players, I'm sorry. 
uh, to this game just because, oh, here it is. This is the exact lead that Fawn had in the first game. Gango is really good. Bayo combo is out and ready. And then suddenly, Dill just had that. There we go. Going straight in for the smash attack right after, which is time. I think for Rob Saibi, which I actually haven't seen uh, Dill do too often last game either, which I think Bayo would suffer from a little bit, if, if, she's, if she's trying to go in uh, to start her combo. Just like that, I believe Saibi can probably catch her with that. Or just like that, when you hang on ledge too, for too long, high percentage, low, low invincibility on that ledge. So it does run out much faster. And dang that beautiful, beautiful uh, up air. Almost with 0% to her name, but it's okay. 0.6 is close enough. All right, we round, we, down, we round down here. I'll just gain the back here of the side B. Now, will Fawn be able to come back? I believe so. We should be good. Absolutely. Keeping that second jump for Bale's recovery is so important. I learned that the other day because I never knew how to do it, and someone taught me. Oh. Was definitely expecting a neutral getup, um, or maybe just slightly misspaced how far Bale's roll in is. But unfortunately, Fawn is still getting that second stock taken from them. And Dill is back here. Uh, once again, stock ahead and starting to pull up a little bit of damage as we move up forward. Nice catch of the, uh, of the jump from Dill, and possibly taking the stock. No, that, those battle, that battlefield and that DI kind of saving Dill right there. Nice. Actually, I believe that uh, they had Wish Time the Gyro, which keeps invincibility for long- I'm um, sorry, stays active for longer. Let's see, now we have a look- Oh! I don't want to say that was just a misinput. Maybe it was trying to read like a roll to the side off the, from the ledge, or from the edge at least. But that is a really, unfortunately, um, time forward smash or unfortunate, you know, side of the forward smash. Again, last hit of the up there to save the deal from, from, um, from death right there. Fourth though, still not taking it, unfortunately. Fawn is so struggling to kill, but finally getting the kill once again with, I believe I saw that was a back air. Oh, it, it, it not matter! It would not matter because Dill also has a back air. It not matter. It never has mattered. Rob's back air lasts like eons. Oh yeah, that was just a scoop up smash, be gone. Yeah, I see that fourth was still doing kill, but you hate to see it. All right, I think here is the final. Yeah, just, just uh, literally dropped down, waited for Fawn to come back on stage, and it was like boom, back air. Hi, hi, bestie. <laughs> hi. How's it going? It, it, it's been a while. I know. It Do has not been. at me. Do not at me. I, I am glad, however, that um, because I've signed these chairs for so often, I raise them up, and they're still.